Hi, this is Tom Pazzini with Essential Skills. And today I'm here to answer a very specific question. Why? Okay, why do we teach what we teach and what does it mean to you? Now, essentially we teach five basic skills. <clears throat> we teach how to improve yourself through the 3D mind. Probably the most, the, the easiest and uh, most effective model of personal change ever created, if I do say so myself. Um, unstoppable rapport, how to generate connections with people, how to, how to learn about them, how to get people to actually feel like they want to be around you, which, believe me, for some people out there is, is not an easy thing to do. Um, anchoring for persuasion, states, anchoring yourself, how, understanding that we're emotional beings, and if you're going to connect and move people, you're going to have to do it through emotion. Um, vocal influence, so sooner or later you've got to open your mouth, which means you've got to use language, voice tone, intent, volume, all of those things to take the words that you're saying and infuse them with power. And finally, modeling. <clears throat> modeling is like the road map of success. If you don't know where you're going, you have to find somebody who has a map. Okay, so, you know, modeling is a lot like having that map. Now, the way I look at it is, I'll think of life as a car. A car. Say, so you will use cars. All right. <clears throat> And we'll also use my horrible artwork. Okay, so this is like the world's boxiest, ugliest car. Alright. But, you know, people are a lot like a car. When you're born, you're shiny, you're new, you're low mileage. Okay? There can't be a whole lot wrong with you yet. But then life happens. Okay? You might get a little dent. <laughs> All right. You have the windows, and they get you know the windows can get broken out. The tires start running flat. The engine starts blowing smoke. <clears throat> and just about the time <laughs> life is supposed to be really taken off, you're gonna hit the road running, and you're gonna have to drive in that. Now, it's not that everybody's like this, because I mean a lot of people, you know, just like a lot of cars. You know, people take care of them and change the oil. But some people, life's a little bit more difficult for. Or things happened, you know. Um, <laughs> who knows? Somebody didn't get the date they wanted. And boom, that's a psychological dent. You know, uh, somebody, mother didn't hug them enough. That this tire's more flat than that tire. You know, there's the little things in life that try to, to keep you from moving. So what happens is, at some point in your life, and only you know where this is, you decide that you want to do something. And all of a sudden, it's seeming like it's taking a lot of effort. It's like life has turned into a chalopy, okay? You hit the gas and nothing happens. And when you go for advice, they just say hit the gas harder. And nothing happens at a slightly faster pace, okay? Or you go and they say, oh, you know, what you need is a fire walk or a positive mental attitude. And they want to take it, they want to, they want to straight, they're going to, they're going to put a rocket on, on, on your car and they're going to whoosh and they're going to push their car along and the poor car can barely hold together. And eventually the rocket runs out of fuel and everything stops running anyway. Now, <clears throat> our job is not to push you beyond what you can possibly do because you got a jalopy. When you make the decision <clears throat> to improve your life, when you make the decision to come to our seminar, when you make the decision that you've had enough of all the other things that you've been trying to do, that you want something more, then we start helping you. First job, okay? Personal change. Personal change. You can't do anything else in life until you change your attitude, change your beliefs, change how you feel about things. You know, change how you deal with the roadblocks in life. And you can't do it in that jalopy. The first step, rebuild the car, okay? Anybody who's ever built cars, like I have, I've rebuilt classic cars and stuff, knows what I mean. When it's You've got to rebuild the car. That means you're going to have to do some work, okay? <clears throat> you're going to have to cut off what's not working. You're going to have to knock out the windows that aren't there. You're going to have to remove the tires that don't work. And all the little psychological dents are going to have to be smooth. Now, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, I know. It's probably the world's worst metaphor, by the way, but it's what I have today. <clears throat> now you've got a car. 
it's back to near original condition, <laughs> okay? With probably a whole lot more wisdom and education, but now you have something that'll drive. The engine works, the windows are good. Let me put windows in. Dun, dun, dun. Nice shiny windows, okay? The tires are full, plenty of tread, and you're ready to hit the road. Well, now we've made the personal change that you're ready to go. You need fuel. Any interaction, any place you go in life, I don't care whether it's business, social, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, just talking to people, making friends, anything you want to do, finding a, a significant other, uh, want to get a job, get an interview, get a raise, it's going to involve you being able to connect with people. And before that happens, before you have any influence whatsoever, you have to generate that connection. And that connection is rapport. So, you know... <clears throat> You've got to, you know, open up the fuel cap and pour in some rapport. Rapport is the fuel of a car. It's a fuel of a person. It's a fuel of success. Okay, believe me, I'm going to tell you. A lot of people believe that in order to get ahead in business, you need to be an asshole. Let me tell you, that never works for long. That'll push you through one deal or through two deals. What you do is end up generating people who don't want to be around you to where they'll deal with you if you're the only choice left. Not a good idea. You know, <clears throat> then there's anchoring. Anchoring is like, kind of like the steering wheel, all right? I want to go to where they feel they need a best friend, so I'm going to drive there. Or I want to drive over, you know, you're going to get passengers in your car, okay? These are going to be the people you want to influence. You want to drive them into feeling connected. You want to drive them into needing your services. You want to drive them into being curious about you and going on a date. You're responsible taking them in this car wherever you go. So you need the steering wheel to be functioning to take you in whatever directions you want people to go. Then there's vocal influence. Vocal influence, that's a lot like, you know, it's a lot like the gas pedal. All right. If I have rapport with somebody and I have them anchored to feel good and I tell them, you know, hey, listen, uh, I was wondering if you can help me out and I fire the anchor of feeling good. I'm hitting the gas and this car is starting to move. It's starting to generate motion, which is wonderful, which brings us to our final skill, modeling. What is modeling? Modeling is finding people who know how to do what you want to do and getting them to teach you how to do it. It's like the navigation system of life. You know, you have two choices. You either drive, I mean, if you want to go here to get some ice cream, you have a choice. You either get in the car and start aimlessly wandering around until you find a place that sells ice cream, or you find somebody who knows where the ice cream is. And you find them, and they teach you where the ice cream is, and boom, there you go. Now, <clears throat> If you want to get ahead in life, you need all of these things. You know, you're not going to go far without any tires. You're not going to go far without any fuel. You're not going to get far without any steering. You're not going to get far without a gas pedal. And you're certainly getting nowhere if you don't know where you're going. Now, <clears throat> this May in London, and the pre-training starts just a couple weeks from now, but this May in London, we're going to be teaching the Total Life Transformation Seminar. And it's a matter of taking all of these skills and combining them. So you end up with something that gets you where you want to go. Having the life that gets you where you want to go. Instead of trying to push this jalopy around, where people want to understand why you're the jalopy. You know, the one thing that drives me nuts, okay? Let's, you know, oh, you have a dent. Oh, that's terrible. Let's explore, let's go into your past and find out where that dent is. I don't want to know where the dent is, okay? I want to fix the dent, all right? I don't want to know where I've been. I want to know where I'm going. And that's what Total Life Transformation is about. So, there's a link below this video, and I suggest you follow it. It will change your life.